Thank you, Madam Speaker. Appreciate the opportunity to uh, rise and, and ask this body to adjourn in memory of a dear friend of mine, uh, someone who was a mentor, a uh, counselor, an individual who uh, was very helpful during my years as mayor of Fresno. Uh, Mike Reynolds passed away uh, in July at 79 years of age. Mike was a photographer in our community, uh, mostly doing weddings, was also involved in community service organizations. And Mike uh, and Sharon and their three children in the 1990s were living the life of enjoying their family, the work that they were doing, his volunteer services. But Mike's 18-year-old daughter, Kimber Reynolds, was brutally murdered in 1992. And she was in the Tower District in Fresno, an area where uh, people in, enjoyed an, an eclectic uh, uh, community and was the victim of a snatch and grab burglary uh, and was shot in the head. Mike made her short life a catalyst for crime sentence reform and it became known as California's three strikes law. Mike made sure that it was simple enough to understand, that it was certain and clear enough to discourage repeat criminal behavior. Interestingly, 31 other states and the federal government also passed similar laws that set a three strike standard on those committing repeat violent offenses. So what started as a personal homage to his late uh, daughter, Kimber, soon became a movement much larger than himself that also uh, created the uh, use a gun and you're done, and that was passed by the voters of California. And during my time as mayor of Fresno, as I mentioned, Mike and his wife Sharon were mentors and friends of our family, those uh, who knew Mike well appreciated so much the, the calm, solid, thorough assessment, a demeanor that was not so torn up by the agony of losing Kimber. Sharon and I would often drive home from City Hall when I was mayor and pass the Reynolds home. Mike always kept a light lit in a prominent window of his home to remind himself and others of the passing of his beloved daughter, Kimber, and her lasting legacy. Mike is the epitome of a role model. He is highly regarded in our community, not only for the work in Three Strikes and Use a Gun and You're Done, but also in so many other things that helped others uh, in a variety of areas where they were facing need. But he had a very special place in his heart for those who were victimized by repeat violent crimes. Mike is survived by his wife Sharon and sons Michael and Chris. I ask that we adjourn in the memory of Mike Reynolds and also his beloved and dear daughter Kimberly. Uh, and I thank you for the opportunity of re reminding us of uh, what uh, people go through when they are uh, hurt, when some killed, uh, and we ask ourselves why. Um, instead of turning inward and turning angry, Mike decided to step up and try to do something that would very much change uh, how these particular kinds of repeat and violent crimes and the criminals who perpetrated them were held accountable. As I mentioned, he's dearly beloved in the community. Sharon and I uh, wish his family and his uh, wife and children the very, very best. And we miss Mike, and we're grateful for his commitment uh, to others. Uh, and we're grateful that we had the chance to know him. And I ask that we adjourn in his memory, but also in the memory of his dear Kimber.